As of 2040, combustion trucks will no longer be allowed to be sold in the UK. The government is now testing electrical alternatives. The British government wants to test overhead line trucks, so-called O-trucks. In northeast England, a section of the motorway is to be equipped with a power line for heavy traffic. The test track will be built on the M180 near Scunthorpe in Lincolnshire. Overhead line masts are to be erected on a section of 20 kilometers. The government wants to support the project with 2 million British pounds. That's the equivalent of 2.34 million euros. Test operations could start in 2024. The project is being managed by the construction company Costain, which also operates some highways in the UK. As in the pilot projects in Sweden and Germany, vehicles from the Swedish Volkswagen subsidiary Scania will also be used in England. The old truck is based on a hybrid truck from Scania. It has a 264 kilowatt diesel engine and a 139 kilowatt electric motor. A battery with a capacity of 18 kilowatt hours is also on board. Siemens will then equip each vehicle with a pantograph. The vehicles drive electrically on the power line and charge the battery. Without overhead lines, the vehicle can drive electrically or if the battery is empty with diesel. The government in London recently decided that no new internal combustion engine trucks could be sold in the UK from 2040 onwards. Traffic there should be carbon dioxide neutral by 2050. Alternatives for heavy traffic are now being sought. One of them is the overhead line. Other clean trucks are also being tested. The British truck manufacturer Leland Trucks, which belongs to the American group uh, Packer, will test 20 battery electric trucks from sister company DAF at state institutions, including the NHS Health Service. The London company Arcola Energy is planning a pilot project with fuel cell trucks in Scotland. The overhead line project is scientifically, uh, scientifically supported by the Centre for Sustainable Road Freight, a joint project between the Universities of Cambridge and Harriet Watt University in Edinburgh. The researchers have calculated that it will be possible to upgrade the UK's road network to all but the most remote areas by the end of the 2030s. The costs are set to amount to 19 billion pounds. That's the equivalent of 22.3 billion euros. They say this could pay out themselves in 15 years. And I'll see you in my next video. Auf Wiedersehen.